is, is practice more fun for you right oh, now? Oh, yeah, I love it. You got the music out there, We're celebrating after interceptions, PBU, so it's, it's fun. You look back over the past year and think about where you were and just trying to fight to get on the field. And, and now Coach is talking to you about a, a main player on this defense. How, how incredible is this progress you've made? Oh, it's, it's been a blessing. It, sometimes it feels surreal just knowing, you know, you walked on pretty much. You're undersized, like, but the hard work over time just been phenomenal. Coach Hayes at first, he was the first guy who was like, you know, you got some talent. Then Coach Norwood came in, so it was just a fresh slate. You know, he didn't recruit anybody. So whoever balled out, we get to play. So now it's like I just got to take the opportunity and keep going. You're a big personality guy. Yes, when you're a walk-on, do you have to put that in the can and yeah. shut up? Oh, no. Since day one, <laughs> I, I was just like, I'm going to have fun, work hard. Um, really, people like DJ Reed, for instance, because he told me. Uh, we came in the same time. He was like, you know, I walked on the Fresno State. I'm like, what? You walked on? You, you that good? He was like, yeah, bro. Like, if you really work hard and believe in yourself, you can do it. So. When did you get bumped up? Ooh, to first string or just to in general? Scholarship? Oh, scholarship. Well, I'm not currently on scholarship. I've been using the GI Bill, so I've been good with that because I actually make a nice amount of money from that. So, yeah, really? the scholarship would get us more players. Right, so when you say GI Bill, can you Yes, my father, with my that? dad, he's in the Army. Okay. And uh, he retired, so you get some sort of pay that covers, like, school and books and things like that. It's like a scholarship, okay, basically. So better than a scholarship. Yeah, saying, yeah. Okay. So, so, so uh, yeah, I've been, I've been chilling on that. I haven't really stressed about it. All my stress has been on playing. Okay. Yeah. Coach Hazelton said you, they've kind of moved you around a little bit, free safety, maybe even corner. I know in the past, were you just primarily nickel? Some of the stuff new? Uh, yeah, I've been playing corner and nickel for sure. Um, it's just an entire new defense, so you just got to learn to play. It's one day at a time. I think Coach Hazelton kept talking about you guys are preparing to play Big 12 offenses, but it's kind of made it a challenge in practice because the offense you go up in practice is nothing like what you'll see in the Big 12. Exactly. So sometimes it's frustrating. You line up in a formation and they motion over and I'm like, oh, what do we check to it? But I mean, it's prepared just because it's actually forcing us to think. So I feel like when we get in the Big 12 play and you just come out with this formation, it's like, all right, I'm here. I got this. Would you like, I guess if you're like describing the new offense, is it more or less they kind of try to trick you with a lot of motions and stuff? Yeah, yeah, I think I think it's very beneficial. Like I know we'll get, I just told Coach Klein the other day, I feel like we'll get like five, six touchdowns this year just off of the defense misfitting things because it's so complicated to keep up with now. So Would it be, as you were a defender, would it be tough to kind of, play that offense in the middle of all the spread offenses you have to play in the Big 12? Oh, definitely. I practice sometimes. I just get frustrated. I'm like, why are they moving so much? They're coming out of formations I've never really seen before. So it's complicated. Someone that's kind of gotten a lot of buzz by Coach Hazleton, and I think even uh, some of the players we talked to last week is Wayne Jones. Is he kind of taking a big step forward? Yeah, Wayne. I'm proud of him too because um, I knew Wayne before college. You know, he went to Wasso, and I'm from Lawton, so I kind of knew of him. And um, he just did an incredible job just learning. And, you know, he's not scared to fail. So every time he's failed, he's failing forward. He's learning things fast, and then I just look like, dang, he's only a freshman. He'll be a redshirt freshman next year. So, yeah. How's he, where's he gotten the most better at? The better at, i say, one, his coverage has improved um, in off season, like winter workouts. He worked a lot on just footwork and different techniques. So him covering the slot receiver is easier now for him. And then just running, running to his fits and making tackles. He always been that. He was like that in high school. So I knew he'd be good at that.